Hey everybody, it's Greg from Park Journey here. Hope you're all doing all right. Coming at you with a new update from Universal Studios Hollywood. We're gonna start off here on Fred Street where you can see they've still got everything blocked off here. Uh, this is the area that is typically for the VIP tour uh, where they have their meeting places and food and things like that. Um, there are some rumors going around that this is going to turn into a sit down restaurant uh, inside the park. Um, I think this is something that is very long overdue, and I think that that would be a great idea. Hopefully that's something that's actually going to happen. But obviously until anything is officially announced, that's all just rumor at this point. But I think it'd be a really great idea. It's something that the park is particularly lacking at this point. For example, on this visit on last Saturday, we left the park to go to City Walk to have lunch because we wanted a sit down meal and uh, can't find that in the park. All right, let's move on to Fast and Furious construction. Uh, they are moving very quickly with this. So as I'm kind of walking up into the look over here, uh, you can see all of the work that is going on. Um, lots more dirt being removed, um, but you can start to kind of see a little bit of the paths where they're going to start digging for footers, pouring concrete, things like that. Uh, no track uh, that is visible yet. Uh, I've heard that some track is already on site somewhere, um, probably possibly in a soundstage or warehouse somewhere, um, but uh, nothing out visible for you can, where you can see it. Um, over here, we've got what looks to be the station and maybe a queue, show building, you know, all that fun stuff over there on the other side, which is basically right where the special effects stage used to be. And before that, it was a plethora of shows in that theater. And just looking down through, down where the Starway is, again, just the uh, overall scope of this project is absolutely huge. And you can get a pretty good idea of what uh, areas they're working on. Heading down into the studio tour, they are getting ready for the 60th. So it looks like they're um, adding something here to the front. This is typically where the uh, team member sits and welcomes you to the studio tour and gives you all of the instructions as far as where to get in line. Uh, you know, where you can get some snacks, things like this. So it looks like they're adding something here or probably just repaving uh, this area. The Universal Plaza is also still pretty empty. Uh, so I'm going to guess that there's going to be something there for the 60th. Uh, there's been lots of rumors about what's coming. All right, so let's head down the hill on the studio tour, get a, a different look at Fast and Furious construction. So this is the first area of the Starway and Bridge. Uh, so that is where uh, it's rumored that the coaster is going to go under uh, and over the Starway, which will be a super cool effect. And then as we move down, for those of you that aren't really familiar with the park, this was all basically, what, a year ago? just trees and uh, the Universal City sign. Um, and now it's you know being cleared for this. So uh, this is a really large project. This, this project goes from the upper lot, which is near Springfield, all the way down to the lower lot and back. <laughs> Technically, uh, the coaster goes all the way down the hill and then all the way back up. And then there, uh, basically that is the Frankenstein parking structure. And on top of that is uh, super silly fun land and uh, the minions attraction so that's basically right where we just were looking down earlier in this video and then as we move down the hill you can see they are starting to uh, they have removed additional trees and just getting ready for more land clearing here Probably just a, a couple more trees to be removed. Now this area here is interesting. I don't know if this is going to actually be a part of Fast and Furious 
or if this is something related to the new building they built. So it looks like they're, uh, that's the new building they built um, on the left there that as you're coming up the hill from Lancashire, right behind with the old voice stage, uh, which is there. So I don't know if that's all part of Fast and Furious or if that's just construction. Speaking of construction, the facades on the uh, houses for War of the World sets were removed and it looks like they're starting to rebuild them again, which is interesting because we had been hearing rumors for years that the War of the World sets were going to be removed at some point. And then as you look back on the far left there, uh, you can see that there is a new walkway that goes basically behind uh, the playing set so I don't know exactly what that's going to be I don't know if it's for Horror Nights there's been rumors that there's going to be a part of the studio tour that is going to uh, for the 60th that you're going to get off the studio tour and be able to walk around uh, so this could very possibly be that um, so we'll see uh, as far as Fast and Furious is concerned no uh, idea of what's going to happen to the studio tour attraction uh, once uh, the coaster opens. It seems kind of redundant and not, um, you know, particularly interesting to have two Fast and Furious attractions at the park. So I would imagine that the studio tour attraction is going to get uh, replaced with something else. I don't know if they'll use a similar type of movie, um, but we'll see. Uh, so we might actually be getting two new attractions uh, in the near feature the coaster and whatever is going to replace the Fast and Fever Studio Tour segment. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.